welcome to the Downtown Perspective. I'm your host, Adrian Nesbitt. On today's show, we'll be talking about exciting things happening in the downtown uh, featuring high school art and artists. I'm joined today by Betsy Poling, a Goshen High School art teacher, and then also by Ellie and Estella, two Goshen High School artists and students. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you for inviting us. So one thing that I've gotten to be a bit of a fly on the wall for that I'm really excited about is we are about ready to have um, additional art throughout our downtown that anyone can see at any time. And this is going to be um, on the banners that are hanging on our light poles. And I'm so excited that there, a lot of those are going to be featuring um, Goshen High School artists. Um, uh, Ellie, uh, how did you decide which piece you were going to um, have uh, be included on the banners? Um, it was pretty difficult to choose out of my pieces, but I took one that kind of represented um, the community vest, and I just went forth from there. Yeah. Right, same question, Estella. So I decided my piece that I was going to submit um, was going to be one that uh, had a lot to do with color, um, so I submitted one of my collages that was really bright and eye-catching. Yeah, makes sense. Um, Betsy, how many banners are going to be up? How many Goshen High School art pieces are going to be in our downtown? I think there will be about 22. Yeah. Yeah, so a good, good representation. That's exciting. What, what all mediums um, and, and types of art uh, are within those 22 pieces? There is printmaking, painting, drawing, collage, for sure. I unfortunately did not include any 3D pieces, which I'm not sure why, since I mostly teach ceramics, which is 3D, I, I think I was thinking banners and they, you know, thinking flat, but in hindsight, I wish I would have included some 3D pieces, but yeah, it's all 2D medium. Yeah. yeah. It still seems like a really great variety of types of art. That's awesome. I think it is a good variety. So um, as you know, the community is hearing about this, I think everybody should know to look around and look up and see because um, they'll be up any day now. Um, and uh, I think that's something that is exciting for everybody to see. Um, the other really exciting thing that's happening is the Goshen High School Art Show, which will be happening downtown. Um, Betsy, can you tell us some details about what that show is going to be like? Sure. It will be on Friday evening, May 7th. I'm checking my calendar to make sure that's right. It will be from 5 to 7. And Dave Pottinger was generous enough to allow us to use one of his vacant buildings now, which is the former Kelly J's. And right across from JoJo's Pretzel across the street. And thank you, Adrian, for making that connection. So yeah, I'm really excited for, it's always a different experience, I think, for students to show their work outside of school. So this feels, I think, very different for them to, we get off campus and we set up this show downtown. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, um, I'm wondering, Estella, uh, how are you choosing which pieces you're gonna have in the show? I think it uh, rides on how much room we have. Um, so I think most of my pieces will be uh, small prints of my originals. Uh, so that I'm easier, so that it's easier to um, um, to mount on the on the wall boards. Uh, so yes, most of my collage is probably going to be up. Ellie, are you in that same process too, trying to decide sort of what you want to include in the show? Yes, I'm narrowing down my final pieces of what I'm going to include, and I'm really uh, excited to show those to the community and my friends and family. Yeah. Um, Betsy, you mentioned that the banners won't have any um, 3D art, but will the art show? Yes, yeah. we will be well represented, well represented at the show with plenty of 3D art. Yes. Perfect. Um, Ellie, what would you say currently is your favorite medium? I know you're sort of in the, the phase of sort of learning what you like to do and how you like to do it, but at this point, what's your standout as your favorite medium? Um, 
Honestly, probably right now, ceramics, just because building and creating with your hands is just so much different than holding a paintbrush. And I think there's a lot more like room for not mistakes, but room for flaws and imperfection in ceramics, which I enjoy. So. Yeah. And Estella, what's your favorite medium right now? Along with what Ellie said around, around the, um, the flaws and imperfections, I've been really into collage. Being a senior in high school, everything's just so up in the air and crazy. And, and just being able to do collage, which allows for um, imperfections in your artwork, um, yeah. uh, really helps me kind of deal with all the stress that comes with graduation and that kind of thing. So. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, those are all my questions for today. We'll make sure that we post um, the date and time and location for your art show, and we hope it's a success for everybody. And, and uh, we're so excited to have it happening right in downtown Goshen. So thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks thank for having you. us.